I'm talking about rotate, reflect, and scale tools. So let's get into rotate right now. If I select this object and hit R, it'll bring up the rotate tool. You'll see this pivot point show up. So that is the point that you're gonna rotate around. So you can just click and drag anywhere on the canvas to rotate. If you hold shift, it'll constrain to 45 degree angles. If you hold option, it'll create a duplicate. And after you create that duplicate, you can hit command D to repeat transformation. You can click without holding shift or command or anything, click anywhere and it'll move that pivot point to a custom location. And same thing, you can hold option and create a duplicate. It'll create those duplicates around your custom pivot point. You can, using that custom pivot point, you can straighten out rotated objects. I'll just line these points up. I'm gonna turn my smart guides on, hit R, click on that bottom point, and drag the top point of the R to the top point of my straight line. And now my R is perfectly straight. I use the rotation tool a lot for things like with a clock face. If you need to create those lines around the clock face. So I'll just create a guideline because this has to be rotated a certain number of degrees, I'm gonna hit enter and it'll pull up this dialog. We'll just do 360 divided by 12 for 12 line, or 12 numbers on the clock. I want it clockwise, so I'm gonna do negative 30. I'll hit okay. Now I'll just create a notch. So I want to lock it to the center point of the circle, but this line is getting in the way, so I'm gonna send it to the back. Now rotation tool can lock to the center of the circle. I'll just drag this point to the guideline, hold option, and now I can hit Command D to duplicate around the circle. I can delete this guideline now. So that's the rotation tool. The scale tool works similarly. It works around this pivot point. So if I wanna scale, say I want this moon to be bigger, if I just scale it up, it's gonna, go out of the crop and same if I use the bounding box it's going to go out of the the mask so what I will do is I will select my custom pivot point to be to the kind of this top left portion of the moon now as I scale it'll keep that position where I want it and I can figure out how much ground I want so what's going on is you if you're constraining your scale you basically want to start at a 45 degree angle from that pivot point and hold shift, drag towards the pivot point to scale down, drag away to scale up. If you go straight up and down, it'll scale vertically. Straight side to side, it'll scale horizontally. And same thing, you can hold option and it'll create a duplicate at that scale. You can repeat that transformation if you, if you want. Uh, you can also scale portions of an object. So I'm going to turn my smart guides on. I want to lock to this center right edge of the square. Make sure my guides are locked. Uh, so now with the lasso, I'll select these points of the semicircle, hit S. I'm going to move my pivot point to this intersection of these guides I made. Now I can scale this semicircle up and it won't move the rest of the points of that object. So a reflect tool, select your object and hit O. The reflect tool actually works the same way as the rotate tool. It rotates around the pivot point and it reflects. If you hold shift, then it'll lock it to zero degrees, 90, 180. So what I usually will do, I'll either create a duplicate real quick and then move it where I want it or making this candlestick out of two faces, I can create the pivot point about where I think the center of the candlestick is gonna be, and then shift option drag across that line, and it creates my duplicate. You can also, we'll just create these the bases and everything. So if you have your finished candlestick, but you want to update maybe the shape of this nose, so just grab the pencil tool and draw more of a witch nose. So if I want that to be reflected onto this side, I can just delete this, 
I'll delete these two. Re-reflect, select both objects and hit Command J a couple times. It'll connect those lines. Now you have your updated profile. Um, I could update the nose again and maybe I only want to keep this portion of the nose. So I'm just going to delete there, see what points I need. So I need these points. I'll command paste in front, reflect with O. And I can drag just that portion of the nose, select the pass and hit command J and it should join all those points for me. Yep. So that's rotate, reflect and scale. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.